Welcome to the Bad Movie Night Podcast, covering the worst movies you've never seen. We hope you enjoy listening to Bad Movie Night Podcast. Welcome to the Bad Movie Night Podcast on this beautiful Wednesday evening. We're here. How's everyone doing? Doing good. I'm feeling very tall. Have you guys been enjoying this this beautiful (laughs) fall weather? I had to turn on the heat today. What? You don't need no heat. What? The heat? That's what body fat's for. (laughs) Wow. It was chilly in our house. (laughs) I'm in the basement right now and it is chilly. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait to sleep with the windows open. It'll be nice and cold. It's supposed to go down uh, like 39 today. in the morning. 39 in the morning. Perfect. What? You get up at like 3.30. Do they really start that early? I guess they do sometimes start that early. The birds do start early. 5.20 yeah. and they are up before yeah. me tweet, tweet, tweet. and I can't. Yes. You're shut screaming it at up. them. Shut up, birds. <laughs> Some people are trying to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is exciting because we are now in the month of October, which is the best month of all time. Ooh, so. Spooky season. Spooky season. Mm-hmm. Are we going to have some spooky movies lined up? Probably we not. We should. But <laughs> we probably it's too should. late. We probably should have already talked about that. <laughs> should have. <laughs> yeah, probably. Stefan Vampire and I cop. just watched our, our ninth movie in the oh, uh, 31 Days of Horror. What was it? What was your ninth movie? Tonight Long was uh, The Hills Have Eyes. Nice, nice. Last night was Child's Play. Well, there you go. I, <laughs> I haven't seen that in a Aaron. long time. Yeah. I watched that Apartment A7 last night. Mm-hmm. 7A, yeah. Yeah, 7A. It was okay. It wasn't bad. Yeah, we did you, did you, how was I was watching uh, some of the classics like Child's Play? How was that reliving that moment? Um, I'd never seen Child's Play before. Oh really? Oh really? Chucky oh, wow. scares the living crap out of me. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. It's but uh, it actually wasn't as bad. Like he was more of just like a nuisance An asshole? and yeah, <laughs> yeah. And yeah. I was yeah, like, like an annoying yeah, person. Yeah, burn that doll to the ground. That's like a PG thirteen, isn't it? No, no. I don't think so. Well, it's the mom from Seventh Heaven too. Like the whole time, <laughs> yeah. I'm like I know that's her. Right. <laughs> that's right. It's been a while since I've seen that movie. I don't how many, think I've seen that since I was. Well, they had a TV major. show recently too, didn't they? Like yes. last year, yeah. the year yeah. before. My least favorite so far is Cujo because I just yeah. felt bad for the dog. Yeah, <laughs> because no, it was yeah, not his yeah. fault. <laughs> right. There. <laughs> Ah, uh, so we got a we got a doozy tonight to talk about we tall hop blonde um, patron selection, right? I yep. believe yes. so. I learned a lot about internet poker. <laughs> <laughs> As you do. How's it going, Sean? <laughs> How's it going? Hey y'all! All right, well, this was cool. a David Black uh, pick. Oh, oh that's right. It was David, David Black. Yeah, interesting choice. I love these TV movies. I'm I'm here for it. You know. I'm here for it. Especially the based on actual events ones. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, very much like the uh, Betty Broderick. Or the mm. Amistad. stud. Well, yes. but we were missing we we're missing that <laughs> ship in the pool action, though. Oh, that's yeah. true. I really yeah. wanted that nacho <laughs> pool water. We scene. got the laptop in the garage action. I don't know. We did. We got the yeah. laptop in the garage action. Very realistic. Yeah. It's like Spiv in high school all over again. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, a laptop go away, mom. <laughs> I did not practice a premise, but I think I could sum this up pretty quickly. <clears throat> go for it. A man who is married, has a father of two daughters, gets seduced in the world of online gambling. gambling. I'm so sad and lonely. Will somebody Duh. please talk to me? Here's he a picture of me in a big young woman call in a chat room. You raise. But little does she know, things are not what they Something's see. Something's raising up. Brrrr. As I'm Thomas folded. pretends to be a young, attractive man, which he is not. I'm a sniper. And I'm chaos in source. In the 2012 TV movie, Ha Ha Boy. 
space. Trying to read it how it's spelled. Story. Directed by Courtney Cox. Yes. Yes. Wow, yes. So random, right? I think that was actually Courtney Cox. We're going to have a friend's quiz, I hope. No, nope. oh, that'd be fun. That'd be fun. We're gonna have a catfishing quiz. No. Oh, oh man, even better, <laughs> even better. Aaron's very familiar with catfishing. <laughs> Hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, am um, I? <laughs> I don't think I've ever been catfished before. That You've wasn't been catfished the, the whole time. Your wife yeah. isn't your wife. <laughs> She's, <laughs> <laughs> She's playing None the long con. Sucker. Yeah. She's a sucker. <laughs> Well, that makes me feel better. An old man walks it's, it's in behind you. It's actually Matthew Pfeiffer. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh, All right, no, should we can move go. to the to the history hole? Let's do we have do a history it. hole? Uh sure. We can definitely do that. Tall Hot Blonde from 2012. There is a 2009 version of this as well. But this is the one we watched. The same story? Same story, based on the same thing. Huh. Yeah. I think the other is a documentary. Oh. It is. So this it's, is a it recreation. Is a, this is more of a recreation. a dramatization of the story. Mm-hmm. Right? Yes. Yep. Um, so this movie was released June 23rd, 2012 in the States. Um... Alternate titles for this are Paragos de Rede in Brazil. Ooh. Liaisons Interdites <laughs> in France. It's easy for you to say. Uh, in Germany, it's Taha Blonde Mortgage Mortgage Lugen. <laughs> Barfing Lugen. Mortgage Lugen. Mortgage Lugen. Oh, Lugen. Bless you. <laughs> In Brazil, it's Alta Sexy Loria. Ooh. Yeah, I am sure I brutally pronounced those, but you I get the you'd idea. Get, I thought you'd get at least one right, but I was wrong. <laughs> do you speak Portuguese? No, no. Then how do you know I got it wrong? <laughs> Touche. <laughs> Some other movies I re- released that month were The Avengers, which grossed Ooh. like $2 billion or something. Right, it's the same movie. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dark Shadows, mm. The Dictator, Battleship, Battleship. Yep. Oh, they did make that movie. Did come that. Yeah, it was come a real movie. That. Yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, Mansum. Okay. What? Mansum. A twenty twelve documentary film by Morgan Spurlock, the guy who did. Um, Supersize me. Supersize me, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. He died recently. Um, featuring Will oh, really? Arnett, Jason Bateman. Yeah. He died this year, I believe. Yeah, he did. Finally caught up with him. Uh, Men in Black 3 and Five Broken Cameras. Ooh, that sounds interesting. That year was a big year for movies, though. I mean, there's some yeah. massive hits. The Avengers, uh, Dark Knight Rises, Hunger Games, Skyfall, what a The Hobbit, time. An Unexpected oh, Journey, God, Skyfall? Twilight Saga, Breaking Skyfall Dawn so Part good. 2. I know. Chris never watched Guy that. Falls amazing. I don't know why Chris hates James Bond. We should start a Bondcast to make fun. him watch them. <laughs> he hates fun. <laughs> I mean, they're, most of them are bad, but it's... <laughs> that was my, that was my amazing, idea. Though. Guy Falls that awesome. That was my idea for another podcast. I would make Chris watch movies he hates. Yes. I figure out why he hates them so much when they're good. <laughs> that would be a great <laughs> That's great a idea. good concept. Yeah. Uh, Brave Ted and Madagascar 3 and The Amazing Spider-Man. Lots mm. of movies came out that year. Which wow. one was that? That was uh, the British guy? That's not that Dennis Lear was in, right? 2012? Tom Holland would have been like t- two. No, that right? was the, that was <laughs> the was second it? reboot. It was it was after What's-His-Face, but before the, the current guy. Yeah. After Andrew Garfield. I thought it was pretty Andrew good. Garfield? It is Andrew Garfield. Yeah, okay, Andrew it would have been Toby... After Toby, Toby McGuire. McGuire. Yeah. That's right. Man. Okay, so as we mentioned earlier, this was directed by Courtney Cox, which was quite surprising. And she was mm-hmm. briefly in the film, I believe. Really? Wasn't yeah, she? she was she worked with the mom. That's right. Oh, she worked nice. with the doctor. Oh, yeah, duh. Or the yeah. wife. That makes sense. Yeah. We all know her from things like Friends, of course. Uh, but and Scream. She has directed five things. Uh mm-hmm. Cougar Town TV series. She directed oh, twelve yeah. episodes. Ooh. Uh she just before I go. Too. Oh, Cougar Town? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's where Scott lives. Uh the Monday before Thanksgiving. Yeah, we had that one lady message. That was it. We haven't had a cougar after me since. <laughs> You've been using that cougar spray. <laughs> that must be it. 
Uh, we do have two writers for this. We have Trent Haga, who, uh, let's see, what has he written? He's known for 68 Kill, Ooh. Death December, Mad Heidi, mm. Cheap Thrills, Death Slice. Death December sounds like yes. we should watch Does it for good. a Christmas movie. Uh, let's see. Death. I'm right now. A collection of 24 films to take a look at the dark side of the festive season. 24 international directors with the most diverse ideas and styles, linked by short animated segments that deal with uh, the advent calendar itself. Uh, maybe uh, not. Never Got Barbara Campton in it. Um, Crossing it off. Yep. How long is that? What was? 24 films. 24 they're, they're, shorts. Uh, two hours life. and 25 minutes. Yeah. What was this? What does this play on seat. as a TV movie? What? Does it say what, what channel? Play on? Uh, probably Lifetime. This has got to be Lifetime. It feels I, Lifetime. But yeah, I, I didn't, didn't, I didn't see anything about like where it actually... Well, I think it's too... Was, was it ABC or something? Well, it was also called Cyber Seduction. Cyber Seduction. That's a great name. Um, It was shot in 16 days, I can tell you that much. <laughs> Jeez. Shocker. I was on USA. Okay. Could see that. Yeah. Production yeah, companies yeah. were Lasky Production, Motion Picture Corporation of America, and Silver Screen Pictures. It has an official website. Let's see. Uh, runtime of one hour, 27 minutes. And the official website is page not found, but it directs you to Lifetime. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> page not found. Wow, Courtney Costa Good. keep paying for it, huh? That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you, you know. change your site around. Yeah, yeah you got you, you, you to break oh, everything. Oh, yeah. It premiered in, on Lifetime in June 2012. There you go. There it is. And released there on DVD go. in January 2013. Oh, man, it's a DVD release? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, our other writer for this was Barbara Schroeder. She directed a mini series called really. Evil Genius, the story of America something or other. <laughs> uh, the Blackstone Sisters, and she played the newswoman in Canadian Bacon. Oh, that's cool. Oh, Canadian Bacon. Yeah, that's when it was, mm-hmm. was, that when it was last, right? Yeah. Um, our, our actors that you may know are Garrett Dillahunt. Um, he looked familiar, but I don't know what he's from. I didn't really care to look it up. We have Laura he San... to me like the guy from Reno 911. Yeah. <laughs> well, the <laughs> glasses good... and everything. Yeah. yeah. A little bit. Um, and a little bit of the, uh, oh, brother He's in from... Deadwood. He's from Deadwood. Is yes. he in Deadwood? Yeah. He definitely looks different if you look him up. Like, he's also in 12 Years of Slave. He's much more handsome seen. without... Yeah. Uh, the goofy, the mustache. Yeah. He's Wendell and yeah. No Country for Old Men. Oh, I love that movie. Yeah. It's a great movie. Um, we also have Laura San Giacomo. I just remember her from what was it, Just Shoot Me? Uh huh. Back in the day. Yep. Yeah. She was apparently in Quigley Down Under, Pretty Woman, Sex Lies and Videotape, various other things. Um Yeah. That's about it for those people. Well, there's also the second mom, the mom of mm-hmm. the girl, she looked really familiar. So Molly she was, uh, Hagen. Yeah, she's uh, Walker TV series, the more recent okay. one. She was in Sully, Election, Herman's Head, mm-hmm. All My Life, Into the Dark, Boris and the Bomb, When We Dance, No Good Nick, Jane the Virgin, Strange Angel, I Zombie, God Incorporated, Happy Days, etc., etc. I don't know any of this shit, but she was in it. Yeah. Cool. I think she's one of those people that's just been and just been in all sorts of stuff. <laughs> minor, minor yeah. character actor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's cool. Um, was filmed in Los Angeles. That's about it for this movie that I could find. <laughs> other than it's obviously Fair. based on a true story, which is which is pretty cool, insane, mm-hmm. pretty so, insane. Yep, that's what I, I got. Talk about it. Thank you. All right, I, let's I, do I that. Pump the talk about it. <sighs> This amazing you movie. pump your shotgun. We gotta pump, pump it. it up. So why don't we do our patron transition? Ooh. Patreon. Get that music going. You gotta give us money. Wait, you gotta wait for the music, Scott. Give us money. Oh, sorry. Get in the mood here. This is more upbeat. Chris is taking your money. It's like some Jesus He's gonna music. spend it on snacks and beer. <laughs> You can talk on the Patreon, but you have to tell us your fears. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Wow. Let's get it up. I've got a million of these guys. Got a you you are well equipped to deal with this. That was good. Yes. <laughs> All 
All right, folks. I want to hear what you think about beer this and movie. fear. I want to hear. Aaron. I am. Laura can attest that I'm terrible at rhyming song lyrics. <laughs> really? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She's never much guessed, better. She's much never. Better. I would imagine she'd guess. be very good at that. You seem like a natural. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Natural Aaron, lyrics. What did you think of this movie? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's okay. So it has been two weeks. We were supposed to record this last week. So I've. It's not fresh in my memory, but I remember enjoying this. It was pretty crazy. The fact that it's based on a true story is just, it's almost unfathomable, but uh, you can see kind of how this would happen. This guy's lonely, middle-aged dude, not happy with his situation, feels unfulfilled, and just a little bit of attention from the wrong person makes him go crazy. And uh, he commits atrocities and ruins his family and his life, and um, I'm there for it. It was great to watch. I thought it was really well done. It was fun. It felt very dramatized. Um, Yeah, I enjoyed it. All right, Rebecca, what did you think? Yeah, I enjoyed it too. Um, it it definitely wasn't like the best acting of all time, um, but I think because it was based on a real story, they didn't have to work hard on trying to create that plot that sometimes bad movies just can't do. Like it was kind of just naturally handed to them, um, so it was hard for them to really mess up a story that actually happened and i think i think courtney cox did a good job all right spiv what did you think yeah i kept having to look up the real story as i was watching this because it was so crazy and out there Uh but everything that happened in the movie happened and to the real guy so it's crazy that humans can do things like this. (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, it was a weird group. (laughs) Yeah. It was it was entertaining though. I you know it kept me uh, kept me interested the whole time. Uh, I, I don't think I've seen any of Courtney Cox's other directorial uh, features, but uh, I, she did a fine job here. So yeah, overall good. Yeah, I, I pretty much agree with what you guys are saying. I was surprised by the quality of the movie. I kept thinking this was going to be like a lower quality film, but like it looks pretty great, like cinematography mm-hmm. and stuff. And mm-hmm. like you said, the story is just so ridiculous ridiculous um and weird and it doesn't quite go the way you you would think with something like Mm-mm. this of like a guy being online but um his obsession like had no bounds to him and it's one of those things like if you if you you didn't know this was a true story you would think it's nonsense uh but unfortunately it is a true story <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it shines a light on a lot of people <laughs> yep <laughs> So, um, yeah, it was interesting. Um, it was, I, I really enjoy watching these TV, TV movies, these dramas occasionally, because some mm-hmm. of the stories are pretty crazy. They And when they're based on true stories like this, it's just like, wow, you know? I think the constraints of a TV movie, you know, the lower budget and the... Works well the, for this. The rating, you know, you got to keep it, you know, TV friendly. Mm-hmm. Uh, it kind of constrains the, the creators into like, focusing on that story, I think. They don't get lost with big budget effects or over the top gore, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> or, or yeah, like throwing nudity in just for fun. Um so yeah, I think that's why we're getting that that kind of higher quality writing. Absolutely. So what did you guys think of this guy, Thomas? Our main guy. As a father, it's, husband, family. Man. I think if I had his job, I would kill myself. Yeah. <laughs> His job yeah, was to just stand, cutting a steel yeah. rod into smaller steel yeah. rods. Yeah, he's like a machinist. He's over a machinist, and right? over. No, and but over. he's a robot. He's a robot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's a machinist generally like does more than that, That's right? True. There's yeah. a yeah. lot of work that goes into something. Machine. But it's that kind of work. You work in like a stationary position, doing the same thing repeatedly. Yeah, like mm-hmm. you know, like well, like a factory job would be, which mm-hmm. doesn't really exist too much anymore because of robots, but. Well, and we see that, like, he gets the mail at the beginning, and everything's past due, and yeah. struggling so with he's life, kind of, yeah, drowning in all aspects of his and life. The yeah. only thing he really has to look forward to is his his uh, gambling his with monthly, his friends. His monthly yeah. Book yeah. Night. yeah, that's all yeah. he's got. Yeah. Well, they do some learn... interesting setups with the kids and stuff, and like they their events like. They swim, for instance, and that kind of stuff. But mm-hmm. yeah, it, it's kind of interesting because it it does like kind of show a little bit of like what I think happens to a lot of people where they just don't have any interests in their life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like they just like 
Go home, watch TV. Life gets asleep. sucked out of you in this case, yeah. right? He has this yeah. horrible job. They are not financially well off. They're struggling. Um, I he's think he just a massive depression. Yeah, he's got, yeah. <laughs> right. He's well, got well, like, even even when he was younger. I mean, he got kicked out of the Marines because he got injured. And that was right. like yeah. his dream to be yeah. a mm -hmm. Marine. And he did talk about that it was like the best years of his life. He kept mentioning mm -hmm. yeah. that. To right. His buddies. Yeah. yeah. Man, it's kind of sad. <laughs> but this makes him a prime target to be taken advantage of. You know, this is yes. mm -hmm. this happens. Oh, elderly people, lonely people, um, yeah. sad people are often preyed upon for scams and all sorts of other reasons. Mm -hmm. and this is a great example of that going way too far. I was curious, like when this real story actually took place, like what year? Because uh, he's playing like a really old version of online poker and it seemed like a really so simplistic I've, i have like the early article 2000s, pulled up yeah. he, it was may 2005 and it okay. actually wasn't an online poker site he was on the site pogo.com which okay. still exists i used to play games on it like <laughs> we found the tall hot block yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> but yeah it's, it still exists it's still up and running wow, that's wild yeah. I wonder if you can message people like that just randomly. <laughs> it's tall hot blonde still an active user. <laughs> oh, really? I, I guarantee you someone has that screen name. So oh, yeah. you, you go back to like instant messenger and stuff. We would talk, yeah. I talk to random people all the time. Oh, like, all yeah. The time. It, yeah. It definitely is like a window into that era of like yeah. online. I don't trust anyone. I guarantee mm -hmm. when I was a teenager, I talked to so many predators <laughs> yeah. that my parents would have. <laughs> But horrified to know, right? Yeah. Yes. AJ that's was fair. one of them. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I met the bad movie night crew. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> uh, yeah, it definitely was a unique time uh, in history. You know, people nowadays obviously still fall for all sorts of things. But oh, all the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. ironically, I think back then people were much less trusting of randos on the Internet. We're now yeah. like, I, I saw a joke about this recently, but, you know, kind of. I don't remember exact exact details, but you know we were raised like, oh, don't trust anybody online. Don't do you know, like talk to anybody. Don't do all these things. And now it's like people trust anyone. They order like an Uber to come pick yeah. you up. They you you order know. someone on the internet to come yeah, drive me in your, their car. Deliver your food. Like <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. Just, there's tons of trust almost. Yeah. In yeah. random people, and that is is scary if you really step back and look at how fucked up humans are. Um. Which is why I'm, I'm going to be an Uber driver. No, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to that. announce my new <laughs> career. Well, it's interesting, too. Like, why do my tacos especially... smell like chloroform? <laughs> it's interesting, too, coming out of COVID, how much of that stuck around. With yes. all this. We order food yeah. all the time. We, we take we do Uber everywhere. And like mm -hmm. it's, it's all just yeah. like an after effect of that with culture changing. Well, mm -hmm. because it was so easy. So then people are like, oh. We can just do this I all don't the time. have to put on clothes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's just also food just... at my door. Yeah, it's wild. What a world we live in. It gets better what every day. A world. <laughs> so this guy, what did you guys think of the story? Did I mean, if you didn't know and didn't read up when you were watching this, were you surprised by the direction it went with him being kind of the one that was obsessed in the way that he yes. was? Yeah. Yes. Um, I mean, I. I... I don't know about you guys, but when Catfish was on mm -hmm. MTV, I watched that show religiously because I found the whole thing fascinating. Yeah. Um, Never watched it. Yeah. I watched MTV just... when they played music videos. <laughs> I didn't mean it, it like that. Just I just... Uh... <laughs> well, Constantly, <laughs> like, yeah. people in this situation where they yeah. were mm -hmm. falling out absolutely head over heels in love with this person that they had never met before, never seen before, mm -hmm. maybe talked to on the phone here and there. Mm -hmm. And then they meet them and it is a completely different mm -hmm. person than what they expect. I mean, it happens with job interviews. I've heard of mm -hmm. that. People <laughs> like show up for the job interview and it's not the same person that, that's applied it. for the job. Oh, you that's know? interesting. Max Joseph. Yeah. Well, Catfish started off as a movie, right? Originally, like a documentary, and then a made documentary. It a show. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is interesting, though. Like that kind of willing to just believe because it's too good to be true mm -hmm. kind of thing. And I and again, yeah, you talk about people being lonely. It makes complete sense to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, this yeah. guy on the movie, he was so. I mean, his life was a dead end, and yeah. yeah, nothing went right, and he was just kind of putting up with stuff until he died. <laughs> and, right. Uh, yeah, and then someone shows interest in him and sends him, uh, you know, bikini pictures and yeah, 
changes you know, this whole I, world. I could see how that would be very uh, very alluring. So. Yeah. Well, he gets to almost act in a role too because he's not yeah. just being himself. He steps he's out of his yeah, he's he's being who his he's always wanted to be. It's it's a fantasy for him. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's exactly it. I mean, I get it. Life can get pretty boring and stressful, and mm-hmm. sometimes you just want a, an escape, and a lot of people Some, can't. Yeah, sometimes you just want to take pictures of your daughter in her bathing suit and send it to random people on the internet. No, uh, no. Not yet. We're gonna, <laughs> don't spoil it. I wonder it. how her daughter feels about that. <laughs> oh, my God. Could you? How would you oh ever trust your parents so again? Violent, you, I don't think yeah. you could after something like that. That stuff does happen, but it's so crazy. Wrong. It's so crazy, because mm. that's that's kind of the angle I thought when I was first watching. Is that like clearly there's someone pretending to be this young girl on the other end that's trying to catfish him into yeah. money or something to scam him? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Which it, it was it goes, surprising when she actually opened the door to the police officer at the end. But <laughs> yeah, I think we're getting person, ahead yeah. of ourselves a sure, little bit. Sure. So yeah, well, let's sure. backtrack. He let's back. he joins the online poking poker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's joined both. both. He's joined both. Yes. <laughs> he joins the online Pogo. poker. <laughs> Not poking. Um, starts talking to Tall Hot Blonde. They exchange <laughs> pictures and messages things, for yeah. like months. Yeah. 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 I like think that this, the one failure it, yeah. of the movie, I think, was portraying the time going the past. The time. Yeah. Jump. And he builds up this fake story as him being a younger. Guy, yeah, he's, he's going you know, into the Marines yeah. and he's yeah, trying he's, to be a well, sniper. Well, he's in another country, so sh- like yeah, he's on deployment, so he can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's yes, that's his can't excuse. For There's all this like secretive and, yeah. stuff yeah. going mm-hmm. on. So anything she sends him, she has to send to his dad. Oh, and she sends him his her him. underwear. Like, oh, oh God, that's that so is so dark. Bad. That's so, so bad. dark. I just um, like, so he gets. A laptop because he can't share the computer with his wife anymore. Oh boy, and he guilt trips his wife about that. Yeah, because she's like, we can't no afford money. this. For this. And he's like, like, I gotta do something for bills. myself. You buy I shoes had all boots the time. in ten years. <laughs> you bought food for the family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, it's messed up. He also so then, had a secret machine out in the garage. She finds out about the whole thing. Mm-hmm. And from, sends, from Courtney Cox. Was it? I thought <laughs> yeah. she logged on and read. Well, when Courtney Cox tipped her off that he's he was having an affair. Mm. Oh. And that's, she didn't know for exercise. sure. She yeah. just yeah, said, right, right. based on his behavior, right, it seemed right. suspect. <laughs> but she sends a letter <laughs> to Ta Hot Blonde, including all of the information about yeah. who he really is, Pretty a responsible. family photo. Pretty responsible thing to do, honestly. In this situation. And kind of shuts down the whole thing. Yeah. But not really. <laughs> but not really, because it's tr- actually, as you learn later in the movie, mm. the tall hot blonde is not actually tall hot blonde, but tall blonde's mother pretend to be her, which is even darker. Even yeah. darker. Well, it shows they're both they're both doing well, they're the both same lonely. catfishing right. each other. Yeah. 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 Right. Which is kind of ironic. <laughs> <laughs> well, and once the wife kind of blows the cover she switches her tall hot blonde switches her direction to his <laughs> friend mm-hmm. right who yeah. works with him the is young younger guy. has more What's his going name? for chad? him i think <laughs> it should be chad that chad bro bro dude yeah, but he's he's <laughs> early 20s going off to yeah. yeah he's a chad he's college or something yeah yeah he's going to school and he's got uh looks like I'm trying to read in the article what his real name was. Brian. He he's like a younger Joey Lawrence or whether you Lawrence brother. <laughs> his character. Whoa. Is whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Bro. Yeah, this poor guy gets cut up in the worst possible way. Yes. So it well, leads this, to yeah. I mean he's he's yeah. kind of got a, a player reputation. Mm-hmm. Oh. Sure. So uh yeah, our main guy is trying to protect Katie. So it leads to the final confrontation Mm. where he wants to keep the girl from being played, I guess, by his friend. Taken advantage of. Yeah. Yeah. 
so he shoots him in the parking lot of their work. Boy, does he With ever. his own gun. Yes. Yes. It's interesting, like, I always find this stuff so fascinating. Like, he must have been in such a state to do... I mean, oh, it's just like... It's crazy. Because it's so yeah. stupid. Yeah. Like, well, with his own gun he goes he and works. he dumps the laptop... And then he goes and he shoots him. And then he goes and he dumps all of that stuff. <laughs> and then he goes and he gets his family at 10 o'clock at night to yeah. go camping for the weekend. We are. We really should go camping. Dad, it's like 9 p.m. <laughs> on a Tuesday. No, we, we should We should <laughs> no, really go going. camping right <laughs> now. <laughs> Dad, did anything wrong? No, no. Everything's completely fine. The police are on their way. Let's go camping. Is that blood on your hat? No. We're, let's. No, but this is just my desire to go camping. <laughs> Get in the fucking car. <laughs> yeah. It's he so finally weird. seemed like happy though in that moment. Like, oh yeah. Af- after he'd murdered his friend, like he, like a whole weight had lifted off his shoulders. He's very he much like relieved. Oh, yeah. I, just like I, I know oh, that. now my I, life is ready to go keep going. Yeah. Right. I know that feeling, Scott. Mm-hmm. That's why we're going camping this weekend, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, guys. Awkward staring. I don't know. Yep. I don't know. What else um, to talk about yeah. this thing? I don't know. It's a it's a crazy story. Um, Super crazy. What was the motivation of of Katie's mother? I mean, was she just lonely? lonely or was she I think it was the same thing. Something? I think yeah. she was yeah. trying and to if, play a different role than mm-hmm. the life she was leading. And yep, I agree. Sure. But what was going to happen when when Chad or Ryan, what's whatever the guy's name was, when he actually showed up to her house? It was never going to happen. I mean, but he was like ready well, to go he was on his going. way. Yeah. 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 But something would have came up. You think? Yeah. yeah. They would have like, not so. answered oh, the uh, door. Oh, I have to go or, camping. Or, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or my mom's here. And... Right. <laughs> mm. Yeah. I, I think yeah, so. Something would have yeah. popped up that it was not going to work. It's crazy. Or she would have. <sighs> It's just got her shot. Choice. See if he would be into it. Hey, <laughs> can you imagine getting this like Robinson. this and being like, "Yeah, we're gonna make this into a movie." <laughs> <laughs> Craziness, well, yeah. Somewhere is that girl whose mom did this. And- oh, I, know, I know, right? It's so, uh. I hope she gets a royalty off this in some way. Yeah. <laughs> A penny for every time she was consultant this on set with Courtney Cox. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't they say she like moved away and tried to change yeah. her identity and stuff to get yeah. away from the whole they thing? Blame yeah. Her. Jeez. yeah, yeah, awful. especially with, like internet fame. You know, people would try to track you down and mm-hmm. they're crazy. Take pictures of your house and things. I don't, I don't think there's a whole lot else to talk about. Yeah. It's just, it is just, it's, it's, um, it is what it is. It's unhinged. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought the acting was fine. Like there yeah. was nothing, you know, mm-hmm. it was a bit more of a real movie than a, than a bad movie in that sense too. Mm-hmm. Like it was For shot sure. well. Yeah. Sure. It's a yeah. crazy story and the, it had some like decent acting in it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not much more to say. Now, if, if you guys had been the main guy, and your wife found out, and she made you sleep in the garage for mm-hmm. it seemed like a long period. Mm-hmm. And then she like finally things were calming down, and she was starting to forgive you, and you moved back in. And then would you go back to the laptop and look up Tall Hot Blonde again? He was obsessed. Oh, I think it's like any addiction, it's, man. Yeah, you know. Yeah. But like, wasn't he getting that attention at that point from inside well, his family? <laughs> from experience, I can tell you they just can't stop. Uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it must be a strong, a strong attraction there to uh, maybe to the fucking thrill. up your life. I I, well, yeah, I don't know. I don't uh, know. It doesn't seem uh, worth it. I absolutely not. I yeah, it wouldn't even cross my mind. But uh, yeah. Just like, how many mistakes do you want to make? <laughs> yeah. All of them, and then of them commit and murder. Then more. <laughs> right. Dig in the hole. Yep. I did appreciate when the police showed up that he was just like, okay, yeah, take me away. <laughs> yeah, he kind of at that point just Bye, like, kids. made so yeah. many giant Well, errors. it was fun camping. See ya. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come visit me in prison. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they did. <laughs> she divorced him, like, immediately. <laughs> yes. All right. Should we do some recommendations? Yeah. 
All right, Aaron, I would love to hear. Do you recommend this movie? I do. I I really am starting to enjoy, or not starting, am enjoying these Lifetime movies that we watch. They're all just slightly unhinged in general. They're just fun, um, even when the stories are really fucked up like this one. Um, I enjoy them. It's a nice change from what we watch often, and um, I've pretty much enjoyed all of them so far. So yes, if you're into this kind of thing, into the Lifetime thing, watch it, because it's a lot of fun. Rebecca. I mean, I'm I'm a sucker for true crime and catfishing and it's it's got it all. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly does. Yeah. I'm gonna recommend for sure. All right, cool. And Spiff. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There there is some weird attraction to watching people screw up. <laughs> Brain wreck. That's why. Yeah. That's why you got me hired, isn't it? That's why I got you hired, Aaron. <laughs> you just sit behind him. Excellent. Say, uh, excellent. <laughs> excellent. Uh, hey, boss man, go bother Aaron again. <laughs> go ask him a question. <laughs> and then ask him the same question, but in a different way. Five minutes later, and then change his priorities. Yes, and then yeah, change but... it back. <laughs> back, you assholes. <laughs> Anyway, it's so, working. Uh, He's slowly going crazy. Yeah, I'd, I'd yeah. recommend it too. I thought this was pretty great, especially for the <laughs> Lifetime movies. And it, it's right up that alley with some of those other ones we've watched, like Psycho Storm Chaser. Oh, uh, man. Oh, man. We need a Psycho Storm Chaser too, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm waiting for it. The uh, Milton yeah, that's, story. That's, uh, tomorrow in Florida, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, right really. now, pretty much. Yeah. Hope, yeah. They're, hope they're okay. Yeesh. All right. Why don't we... Do we have a game tonight? We do. We do have uh, a game. Why don't we... Jump over and play a game. Here we go. Game time, baby. Your theories are the worst kind of up. Try to your best to slot in your conclusions are highly impressive. Shall we play? AJ is the game. <laughs> you got a show oh. on stream. Oh, I did. Oh, there it, didn't, go. It, it didn't go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yo. Yo. Captain. <laughs> Here we go. What percent of online dating profiles are fake? Ninety-eight oh, percent. <laughs> no, probably not that. High. Eighty-seven. Uh, forty. About ten percent. Uh, All right, really? that's not good. Yeah. yeah. I would expect yeah. it to be a lot of bots. It gives a little bit it gives a little bit of hope for yeah, that's, folks that's, out there. That's surprising. <laughs> uh which group is more likely to cat to catfish? Men or women? Men Ooh. catfishing other men. No, as I women. think learning I from this. So, yeah. I think women are probably really good at it. I think men just because men are terrible. <laughs> that's true it is more likely to be men <laughs> right, Spiff. thanks Scott you're not wrong it takes one to know one yeah, exactly. uh, and it's it's usually financially motivated oh yeah they're not just doing it to do it they're doing it that to sounds about right. make, make money make some money yeah. yeah that makes complete sense uh, what state has the highest number of catfish victims? Alaska, Montana, Maine, or Louisiana? Montana. I'm going to go Alaska. I'm going to say Louisiana. Up there. It is Alaska. Interesting. Yeah. That's fascinating. Uh, <laughs> I expect like Florida to be on that list because of all the elderly people. You mm. could just scam all day. Mm. Uh, I think they're falling more for scams and less for yeah yeah that's yeah. catfishing Dating grandma i'm stuck in nepal send me oh right. here's all my money <laughs> i've been yeah. kidnapped you Go need to send me walmart, walmart gift, gift cards, cards. <laughs> yes <laughs> strange no no account. not cash not right. cash uh what is the average age of a catfisher oh, 23 a 36 47 wait how old are you Aaron? 43 <laughs> it is 32 interesting okay yeah. uh what percent of catfishing involves manipulated photos oh my god now with ai generated images oh, oh my god. i don't know uh, i'm gonna say it's easy enough no just i to think steal it's just a, yeah just to steal someone 27 percent 10 percent two percent 
about 20 (laughs) percent what the fuck is that chris's profile i mean the amount of blurry going on there yeah would that not be suspicious to you some people just Ah, everyone uses filters yeah yeah Maybe I need to start using filters. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in 2017, how many people reported being catfished in the U.S.? How many people? All of them. Five <laughs> percent. Um, Two hundred thousand. The number? Huh? <laughs> Is it a number it's, or percentage? It's a number. A number. Uh, I'm going to say eight hundred thousand. 800,000? Whoa. Oh, only 15. 15,372. Now, that's people that reported it. Admitted to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the, fair. Yeah, they were willing to so share it really is that they had yeah. been catfished. <laughs> so the real number is 20 times that amount. <laughs> yeah, that's, that seems more reasonable. Uh, what percent of Facebook accounts are oh. fake? Oh, oh my God. All of, All of them. So it was 10% of online dating. How about Facebook accounts? 85 percent uh 73 percent <laughs> oh my god that's amazing shocker right <laughs> does anybody actually use that anymore the last again yeah. i think i told scott people, the last time i logged in I it was do. literally just like hot dog pictures <laughs> like ai yeah, generated yeah, hot dog you pictures. showed like, that oh, picture what, what the, the well, you guys that? all what have invitations to my <clears throat> 40th birthday party sitting in your facebook oh shit when's oh, that coming wow. up uh, it's November 9th. Okay. Damn. I'm glad you told us on today? here. I, I try to stay off Facebook as much as possible. <laughs> well, hop on there. Check out the invite. All right. Okay. <laughs> Come join us. Is there going to be uh, a game? <laughs> <laughs> this is 40. <laughs> uh, which group is most likely to get catfished? Oh, this is very fitting. Men, Men over 40. 40 yeah. Women over 40. Men 18 to 39 or women 18 to 39? Men over 40. I think men over 40, yeah. We should, that should be our band name. I don't know. I feel like this is like a trick (laughs) question. I'm going to say men 18 to 39. (laughs) Men are really stupid. Men are really stupid. Oh, women women over 40. Uh, We get like spinsters and lonely divorces, etc. Yeah. That sucks. How could you do that to people? Taking advantage of the vulnerable. Looking for go. love in all Man, the that was a dark game. <laughs> <laughs> I learned a lot. Thank you, Rebecca. That was great. You're welcome. Yeah, eighty-three percent of Facebook. Yeah. yeah, I can believe it. That's crazy. Don't believe anything on the internet. I get friend requests from attractive women every day. Lucky there, you. And they're all fake. Are they all, all hot blonde? You send them photos. Gambling dance. Oh. <laughs> what? Uh, I don't, do they? Well, they don't note, say anything on Facebook. They just send the request. Let's do oh. some some listener feedback. Does it sound good? Let's do sounds it. Good to me. Yeah, that there sounds great. Go. Let's do that. Read some listener feedback, sir. Make it so, number one. E mess. You tiny little e mess. You precious little e mess. Where are you? Last time we checked out Challenge of the Tiger. Oh, wow, yeah. Mm. That was a pretty sweet movie. Strange movie. Yes, it was. Bill Green says, I know what I'm going to watch this weekend. Lol. Maybe he's referring to the... uh, the the description of the the movie. Kung Fu secret formulas, topless tennis, spies, and super sterility drugs. (laughs) <laughs> super sterility drugs super sterility wrong. james green not bill green this is james green now alternate title should be challenge of tiger blood true story charlie <laughs> sheen time and <in> cia <laughs> uh, that'd be an interesting movie uh dylan g or, or dilang as i christened him uh, <laughs> dilang uh, three weeks ago Funniest moment of the week, the crew tripping over the absurd names in this movie. Dick Cannon for the win. God, Scott, that was so good. <laughs> That's his name. It made me chuckle when Spiff mispronounced my screen name, lol. 
Well, good deal. De- De- wait, wait, his name is Dick Can. What would you call him? What? Dick Champion. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Don't same difference. That's oh. oh, right. Last episode. Dead Waters. Dead Waters. Oh, oh. Dead waters. oh. <laughs> oh. this was two weeks right. ago. It was just the three of us. Really long oh, yeah. ago. Boy. Thank you, Shauna. Yeah. Well, I don't know if anyone read these comments. So no, we, we did. did. But well, I'll did jump we? over to Dark Waters. <laughs> Dead Waters. That was published 13 Dark days waters? ago, as opposed to two Thank weeks you, ago. Sean. Dark Waters. Yeah. Dark Waters. We'll reset here. David Black, I love me some nun horror movies, old school ones. Yeah, I, I was not a fan of the Dark Waters, AJ. I know you were because it's very Italian. It's it's very weird. Very Italian. It's, it was very yeah. Italian. Uh, I love the atmosphere. The visually, it was amazing. I yeah. agree, mm-hmm. I'll agree there. The writing was just yeah. Awful. The writing was whatever. Um, alternate title: Abandon all hope, ye who enter here, for there is none. Get it? Ah, Get it? There is none. That's pretty good. Dillang. <laughs> Instead of a funniest moment, I'm doing a most informative. Oh. Fascinating that blind people can't develop schizophrenia. Yeah. That's crazy, right? That is yeah. wild. Yeah. Makes me think of all the eye gouging in Event Horizon. Where we're going, <laughs> you don't need eyes. Or schizophrenia. <laughs> uh, Jinx. Aaron, fix your camera. I don't care if we're inspecting your nose hair or lack thereof the whole time, but the zoom is very distracting. Eh? Oh, yeah. uh, I probably had NVIDIA broadcast on where it does the uh, follow your thing. I think that's turned uh, off right now. Zoom. Yeah, it's not working. Distracting. You just have a vignette on right now. Yeah. Uh, he also says, uh, great podcast as always. Uh, and another comment from Jinx. Call me Jinx. Not to kink shame, but staying out of pits, including armpits, just seems like a good idea unless you have bullets heading your way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Even armpits. I mean, they can get pretty stinky. Um, Marilyn Nepper. Knepper. Knepper, Knepper. Knepper. Started watching the movie, and I thought, this is a mix of the two movies. One is The Church, and two, Dagon. Yeah, Church is oh, awesome. Oh, Dagon. Mm. After the movie, Tubi recommends both. There you go. <laughs> also yeah, go watch The Church. <laughs> yeah? Is that mm-hmm. a good one? It's very good. Tubi also recommended Night of the Seagulls. <laughs> oh. Is that like oh, birds, wow. but with seagulls? I hope so. <laughs> All would be great double features with this fun movie. I just saw Night a trailer the for that, uh, that the, the 2024 yeah. movie, The Well, which sounds similar the to this. The Well? It's, yeah, it's about this one that goes to like restore this ancient painting, and then it unravels like a whole dark mystery of like this guy that lives in a well that like murders people. It looks, I don't know, it reminded me of this movie when I was watching the trailer. <laughs> That's a lot of, like, uh, okay. Night of the atmosphere. Seagulls. It reminds me of uh, Ghostbusters too. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, cool. And uh, that does it for our comments on Dark Waters from last week. Awesome. Thank I could you, keep sir. reading Challenge of the Tiger ones, but I'm sure uh, someone did last week. So, <laughs> well, make sure to leave us a comment, everybody. Leave us a comment. Yes, so I can read it. Go on That's our right. YouTube, watch the podcast. It helps. Like it, subscribe it, comment. It helps us out in the almighty algorithm. Yeah. Tell your friends. Tell, tell your friends to tell join us. Tell your podcast. enemies. <laughs> tell your friends hey. to tell their friends. Yeah, you should tell say, hey, enemies. friend, check out this podcast. It's so bad. You have to listen. There you go. So I bad. I like that. You have to listen. So it's going to draw him right in. It's a train wreck. You got to see it. Exactly. It'll draw him right in. Toot. Oh, man. All right. I so, mean, yeah. I, think I guess we're on to the wheel, right? The wheel. I yeah, I got so. it. we put Night of the Seagulls on the wheel? That's the I think question. we should. <laughs> Let's see. Spin it. Spin Is the fourth it. of Spanish director Amanda Night of the Blind Dead movie? There we go. Can we see the wheel? I can the see wheel it. Is there? There's lots of yep, chips. Yeah, there. We got lots of chips on there. Yeah, what's going what's on? What's the uh, what's yep. the chips? Uh, the chips is whatever we want it to be, folks. Yeah, but I thought exactly. we were gonna just try and get caught up on the uh, patrons either way, like last yeah, week. So yeah, so reset. Okay. If we yeah, we'll spin again if that chip. happens. Okay. No, Let's go. Numbers. Come on. No chips. <gasps> it's the white one. Mm-hmm. What is this? Oh, that's the. Uh, PD Weed Straw. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh wow. boy. Peter Weed Straw. Do we, we have go. a trailer? Can someone pull a trailer? This would be an awkward Anyone? podcast. What is that? Viv, can you get a trailer? Can I get a PD trailer? I'll try. Weed Straw. Yeah. Find us a trailer. This one is a uh, kind of a black exploitation, right? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know like that it. we're probably the best to uh, make a podcast about this, but. P.D. Wheatstraw, the devil's son-in-law. Well, let's watch the trial that we can decide. <laughs> That's yeah. definitely. It. Yeah, here we go. Let me share. Do, 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 
do. Edy Wheats draw include the audio. Go. All right. Thank you, Sviv. Let's take a look at this. I like the music. Off to the seventies. I'm Petey Wheatstraw, the devil's son-in-law. Oh my God! Rudy Ray Moore is Petey Wheatstraw. That's a Leroy and Skillet. New over. Dub. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> That's the cool. watermelon truck. Oh boy, that guy looks so familiar. Yeah, this looks pretty fun. <laughs> this <laughs> might actually be pretty fun. Yeah, yeah this might it be looks fun. funny, but yeah. Just remember one thing. Tell him you got to. Sean. I did. No, I didn't. Did I? <laughs> 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 all right. All right. <laughs> oh my god okay <laughs> okay i'll give it i don't a know that we can actually discuss this film but it's by matthew pfeiffer of all of all people uh, I'm willing that to give makes it a, a lot of sense yeah i want to give it a shot it looks i funny. think it'll be funny but it'll be, be hard very to talk about without being uh, without uh attracting offensive. attention maybe yeah. i don't know but... well we'll see we'll have to watch it we'll have to watch it we'll, be <laughs> we'll right. have to watch it and we'll make the judgment <laughs> yeah how's that I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> All right, folks. Aaron's gonna be sick next week. I just yeah, don't want to. Sick. I don't want to say something that, like offends people. I don't want to be. I, I there seems to be a lot one. of. Uh, yeah. Do you want to uh, respin? Do we feel comfortable can respin? We respin? I think we'll be okay, guys. I think we're just we're not, putting ourselves in a. We're not, not uh, public teachers. We probably should give Rebecca some uh, more latitude on this choice. All right. Yeah, fine. I, we, we, I would respect. rather spin again, please. What if we do that one maybe sometime just for Patreons only? Sure. Would that be cool? Yeah. yeah. Rebecca, you don't have to if you don't want to, but then we could at least say we did it, but we don't have to make it public. All right. I just don't want to open us up to anything stupid. Sure, sure. I, I know right. you guys yeah, yeah, yeah. well. I think you know me, but, you know, no bad intentions, but... Right. No it, it definitely intentions. looks like a very uh, tongue-in-cheek movie. So. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it Why it didn't we take it, it off? It wants it. <laughs> oh. We should take the chips Remove. off. Remove. <laughs> oh. It just wants us to watch it, folks. <laughs> oh. oh, there we go. Oh, oh. No. What's next right. to the chips there, the black one? Yeah, what's to the left? I don't know. I can't tell. That's the problem. I can't tell. <laughs> can't read it at all. Why don't you gotta keep spinning, guys. We gotta keep spinning. There it is. All right, we got Cage. Uh, Nick Cage. Yep. Arcadian. 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 Is this brand new? Yeah, it is. Oh, I've already boy. seen it, and so is Chris. This will be perfect. Oh no. Right. Oh jeez. Arcadian, it is. <laughs> Who's picking right, this? That's got a trailer. Question. Anyone have a trailer? Oh, I mapped up my notes. Okay, I'll pull. ED oh, I thought you pulled a trailer. That's what I thought he was doing, too. <laughs> I Jeez. was writing the movie down in my notes. I got yeah. it. You have you notes? Uh, I, where can we watch this? Ah, oh, Sean, he was dollar. It is free somewhere. Uh, on Prime? Oh, it's on Shutter too. Okay. All right, here we go. It's on Prime and Shutter. I think so, yeah. I can't shut her a sure. long time ago. I don't have any of those guys. Those who believe they came after the pollution people caused. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally phoning it in. Yes, good. Kill off humanity. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll meet you right here before the sun sets behind that hill. It was good to see you. You're late! Sorry, I lost track of time. Are we safe? Yes. Are we secure? Yes. Thank you for this food we were about to receive. Thank you for bringing us together as a family. Uh-oh. Jump scare. Jump scare. from them anymore. 
I want to be their friend. Boy. What do we do? Are we not men? They mostly come at night. Are we not men? Mostly. Are they werewolf zombies? Vampires? Oh, no, they're killing something. It's basically like yeah. the creature from Alone in the Dark, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. Alright, there you go. So there's gonna be a sweet, like, new metal scene? Uh, oh god, I hope so. <laughs> they can only hope. They can only hope. And Christian Slater's gonna pop in? Man. Oh, we should just, we so. just edit that into it. <laughs> that right, was folks. my favorite part. We're watching Arcadia next. Is that yep. right? Arcadia next week. Arcadian. Um, Arcadian. 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 Thank you. Suggested by Cage. John Apathy, aka is... Mr. Australia. And yeah, hopefully we have a full cast next week. I'm I'm looking forward to watching some Cage. It'll be fun. Yeah, it'll be Cage's a good one. always a, a solid bet. Yep. Always a solid bet. All right, everybody. Until next time. We'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Bad Movie Night Podcast. The Bad Movie Night.